Hello and welcome to Hot Topics in Hypnotherapy. My name is Wendy Eckstein and I'll be your host today on a show that explores new ideas, interesting people, and important developments in the field of hypnotherapy. Today we're going to learn about HypnoThoughts, a free social networking website just for hypnotherapists. Our guest is the founder of HypnoThoughts. Please welcome Scott Sandlin. Welcome, Scott. Thanks for having me. How are you today? I'm doing great. Wonderful. So you are the founder of HypnoThoughts. I am. And so how did this come about? Or maybe we should, let's talk about your beginnings in hypnosis. Sure. Uh, well, I've been a hypnotherapist for almost 13 years, right around 13 years. Okay. And uh, I got into it as an absolute skeptic and was in a car accident, wrecked both my shoulders, and it wow. was a college athlete. I was a water polo player mm -hmm. and injured my shoulders really badly, and that hurts. Yeah. So as a complete skeptic, but out of necessity, I went to a hypnotherapist for pain control. Didn't believe in it, but they were used to that. And <laughs> it got results, and so I got good at it for helping myself, mm -hmm. and then my teammates and my friends, and it ran away with itself, and I ended up getting training and became certified. Wonderful. Yeah. So it's been how many years now? Thir it's been 13 years now, and uh, well, which actually even sort of dovetails into the other question why I started HypnoThoughts. Yes. When I finished my training, I got good training. I was very happy with the instruct, uh, instruction I got, but I thought I knew everything. Mm. You know, I, I did that thing where I walked out of the class and I said, all right, I'm ready to be the best hypnotherapist in the world with my this many hours of training and I don't need to learn anything else. <laughs> And I was very confident at 18 years old that I was the best hypnotherapist that had ever existed. And then I met other hypnotists. And mm. I went to conferences and things like that and I found out that there was a lot more yeah. that I hadn't learned. And I found that's really common. I think there's a lot of people who take training, whether it's good training or bad training, and there's both out there, mm -hmm. they don't get exposed to the stuff they don't get exposed to. Right. And if their instructor didn't learn it, they'll never learn it and they just don't know how to get started moving out beyond that. You don't know what you don't know. Yeah, and so HypnoThoughts was designed in part to help fill that need. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. So you started HypnoThoughts how many years ago? Three years ago. Mm -hmm. It's actually three years this month. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. And what made you, like what was the catalyst of starting HypnoThoughts? Like what was the idea behind it? Two pieces. Okay. Uh, one, I'm a member of the International Medical and Dental Hypnotherapy Association, and they had a mentor program. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a good program. It was, it was a great thing for me. And I, I got exposed to a few other hypnotherapists with many other years who really beat me up and showed me what I didn't know in a, in a loving way. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to do something better than that from a technological standpoint because I thought they were just missing a lot of pieces. So there was that. And then there was actually uh, my, my instructor and mentor, one of, one of my two. Uh, primary instructors passed away mm -hmm. and uh, I wanted to write a remembrance to her and just sort of uh, uh, honor her in some way and I, I didn't really know how but the easiest way to do it was to put it on a website so I created a website mm -hmm. and a whole bunch of hypnotists came to read it because people liked Janet oh. so people came to read the thing about Janet and started posting responses and uh, it just sort of ran away with itself. Wonderful. Yeah. So. As a hypnotherapist, mm -hmm. and I'm looking online and I'm trying to get information about other hypnotherapists or um, ideas on hypnosis, and I come across HypnoThoughts, what would be the thing that would catch me? What, when I look at your website, what sure. would be the thing that would catch me and draw me in? From I, would your say, I would say two things. Mm -hmm. uh, well, actually, I maybe even say three. The, in, in terms of technology, there's the videos that are on there, and there's mm -hmm. thousands of videos that people are posting on there, uh, which are really fun. And then the discussion forum is mm -hmm. really great. And the discussion forum is part of what I was going to say is the third thing, because the discussion forum has a lot of just data, a lot of question and answer and content, but it also has this really strong sense of community. And that's the thing that's amazed me about this site, and I take no credit for it. The members have done an amazing job of uh, becoming very social and and getting to know each other and becoming friends and I get emails from people saying hey I've been talking to this person on hypno thoughts and I was in town on business and we just had lunch and all these people are just making actual genuine uh, professional friendships on this site and that's very quickly apparent to people who come to the site. Mm -hmm. The one thing I'm I'm a mom and hypnotherapist and I've mm -hmm. got you know a lot of 
demands on my time. Sure. The one thing I love about your site, I mean, there are other things that I love about it, but I like that you can click on the groups yeah. and become a member of a group and be very specific about what it is that you're looking for. Right. Um, I think that that has been like the best use of my time where hypnosis thoughts is concerned. Sure. What, have you heard that from other hypnotherapists? The thing I like about the groups is running a site with almost 7,000 members now takes a lot of just, you know, janitorial work. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of just basic cleanup uh, that's, that's not very fun. But the neat thing about the groups is they're self-contained. So if somebody wants to start a group on basically anything, they get to just run the show and have their own little network. Yeah. And, and it just creates this, you know, sort of sub-community. And HMI's had a, a group on there for a while mm -hmm. uh, of, of, I think, alumni, but it might be active students as well. Yeah. Um, might be a combination of the two. But yeah, the, the groups, and there's hundreds and hundreds of them now. There are. That are really cool. Yeah, there are, there are. So what is the hidden gem of HypnoThoughts? The hidden gem of HypnoThoughts is the idea of leveling the playing field. Mm -hmm. And this is the thing that I think is really important for the profession, mm -hmm. is being able to compare apples to apples. Right now, in hypnotherapy, the people with the most marketing dollars are the people who are making the most money. Mm -hmm. And they spend the most and people find them. And whether you're a trainer or you're selling CDs or you're selling whatever, if you're spending more on advertising, you're gonna win. And that's not necessarily dependent on quality. Now, some of the people who are spending the most do have the most quality, some don't. But I love the idea of giving everybody the same amount of tools mm -hmm. for free mm -hmm. and saying, what can you do with this? And if you were able to, you know, and they can post their own recordings online and get feedback and things like that and say, this is my last session, what do you guys think? Uh, and you know, put the videos online. Say, here's me doing an induction. If people watch that, they can become more educated on who really is good, and they can find out who they really do want to train with in the future, mm -hmm. and they can see what pieces they're missing. Mm -hmm. And I just love the idea of, you know, leveling the playing field and collectively raising that bar at the same time as a community. Yes. So I, I yeah. think that's the real hidden piece of it. I agree with you. I agree with you. I've been very um, impressed by, um, you know, just the, the little blogging, you know, the mm -hmm. questions that come up and how amazingly generous and genuine everyone is in giving constructive criticism or, you know, comments or encouragement, um, little reminders or, you know, you did that really well. That was great. Why not think about this too or sure. whatever. I think it's a really... Um, nurturing environment. I agree. And, uh, and that's something, like I said, I, I really do uh, credit the members for doing that because mm -hmm. I've been on a lot of different hypnosis sites, you know, like the Alt Hypnosis and the Yahoo groups and things like that. And some of them are very good, but a lot of them, the first one I was ever on, uh, I won't say the name of what it was, yeah. but I saw three or four questions where a hypnotist was just trying to ask a question, how do I do this? And the, the people who were the experts were just attacking this person for asking yeah. a stupid question. And I saw, a post, I saw a post where the guy, he was just so frustrated, he said, please somebody yeah. answer this. And they were just saying, yeah. well, if you're asking this, that presupposes you don't know this. And, you know, and the guy ended up resorting to, fine, I'm an idiot, I'm stupid, I don't know anything, will you please answer my question now? Oh. I just, that's not the learning environment that no, anybody no, no, should be in. No, 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 not at all. And, and HypnoThoughts doesn't do that. No. It's, no. it's really great of saying, I was there once too. And every one of us was new once. And every one of us wishes that when we were new, there was a community of more experienced people to you know, foster us in. What is the direction of HypnoThoughts? Now that you've, you've had your three year anniversary, mm -hmm. um, and I'm sure it's a little bit different now than what you first envisioned. Way different. Yeah, yeah. so um, how, what do you see the development here on out? Uh, well, my original goal for HypnoThoughts was to someday get as many as 500 members. Mm -hmm. I really thought, if this thing gets to 500, it's it's huge, and I never thought it would do that. And uh, we're at 7,000-ish mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. and uh, we get 200 new members every month. That's fantastic. Uh, so based on that, there's, there's been this, you know, I just wanted it to be sort of a hobby side thing, and now there's sort of this responsibility to keep creating and producing for this community, which is a fun challenge. Uh, so right now, the big thing I want to do is help hypnotists make more money. Mm. I want to help hypnotists become more successful. And part of that's about just basic education. But part of that's really about business skills and tools, whether that's directories or stores or 
uh, specific training for uh, different types of marketing or insurance billing sure. and things like that. I think that's really the next direction of HypnoThoughts is, okay, we've got a big core membership uh, of very experienced people. Let's tap into those resources and figure out how to get these hypnotists so they're working full time. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's amazing. Anything else that we need to know about hypnotherapy and HypnoThoughts right now before we take a little bit of a break? Um, people should check it out. I mean, it's, it's free. I'm not trying to sell anything. You know, it's I, amazing, actually. I lose money on people showing up, so I'm, <laughs> I, it's kind of a bad sales pitch, but I love it. It's, it's just a really cool thing. The, the volunteers who help are awesome, uh, officially or unofficially, and it's just it, it's grown so far beyond anything that anybody guessed it would be. So that's Wonderful. it. All right. Well, we need to take a short break, but please stay tuned because when we come back, we'll continue our discussion with Scott Sandlin and Hypno Thoughts. Today, on a show that explores new ideas, interesting people, and important developments in the field of hypnotherapy. Today, we're going to learn about Hypno Thoughts, a free social networking website just for hypnotherapists. Our guest is the founder of HypnoThoughts. Please welcome Scott Sandlin. Welcome, Scott. Thanks for having me. How are you today? I'm doing great. Wonderful. College athlete. I was a water polo player mm -hmm. and injured my shoulders really badly, and that hurts. Yeah. So as a complete skeptic, but out of necessity, I went to a hypnotherapist for pain control. Didn't believe in it, but they were used to that. And <laughs> it got results, and so I got good at it for helping myself, mm -hmm. and then my teammates and my friends and it ran away with itself and I ended up getting... Well, so you are the founder of HypnoThoughts. I am. And so how did this come about? Or maybe we should... Let's talk about your beginnings in hypnosis. Sure. Uh, well, I've been a hypnotherapist for almost 13 years, right around 13 years. Okay. And uh, I got into it as an absolute skeptic and was in a car accident, wrecked both my shoulders, and it wow. was a... Training and became certified. Wonderful. Yeah. So it's been how many years now? Thir it's been 13 years now, and uh, well, which actually even sort of dovetails into the other question: why I started HypnoThoughts. Yes. When I finished my training, I got good training. I was very happy with the instruct uh, instruction I got, but I thought I knew everything. Mm. You know, I, I did that thing where I walked out of the class. Hello and welcome to Hot Topics in Hypnotherapy. My name is Wendy Eckstein and I'll be your host today.